All right, got that mounted up halfway decently, but I want to relocate this from right here. Oop. I want to relocate this from right here to over near the dash because I want to be able to turn this thing off in an instant if I need to. You know, if some throttle gets stuck or something like that, I just want to be able to reach up and kill the hit the kill button to kill the power to the relay boards, which will be right here somewhere, and I'll be able to do that with that. So. I'm sitting here in the back of my mind before I do anything else. I want to get this relocated to a spot where I can easily switch it. So that's what I'm doing now. I am in the process of cutting this guy off and I'm going to resolder it on a different way. So let me do that now. All right, I got the switches mounted. The line of sight's pretty good. All you see is main power and pre-charge line of sight while you're sitting in the seat driving so it doesn't obstruct your view at all. That's good. Need to run the wire back to the pre-charge resistor bank down there and the relay power relays down there. Get that mounted on there. And then we will get to what's in the box. All right, so I have hooked up the wires going from this wire, which goes to the switchboard for the relays that go into the fuse box. That goes into the relay box for the power resistor and the power resistor. I am bypassing one of these because I don't really want to power both these all at the same time. I just want to have one of these powered at a time. So I power the pre-charge up and that charges everything up. And then I power the power resistor up and then I pull, turn off the pre-charge and it should be good to go. Getting inch by inch closer. All right, got the switch panel put on, the wires run back. Back into back, back, back into the relay board. So that is all done. I think it's time to go open the box. Let's go see what's in the box. I cut myself opening it. The box looks in pretty good shape compared to what I sent to Roger. Oops, sorry. in the box. <laughs> Alright, what this is, is my volt inverter that has been zombified with the Lebowski controller. And that has Roger's new connector in it. It has the three pinned faceplate that looks pretty decent. There are the water ports that are missing because I had one inverter that was broken. Oh, it's not like. Oh. So, there's the inverter. The battery panel plate was taken off because Roger kept one and I kept the other. Now, okay, I think that's it. That's all that's in the box. What is this? Oh, this is a. Wireless Bluetooth, no, no, I think it's, yeah, wireless Bluetooth transmitter of some sort. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry, USB-C. Sorry, my fault, USB-C. So, oh. and, yep, that's all that's in the box. So, I, and this right here is what we're hooking into. Uh, this one does not work anymore, but this one works, and so this is the one we're powering. And what I'm going to do is pull the whole thing apart, pop this guy out, and I'm going to make another cover plate that fits for these. Unfortunately, I don't have a 3D printer that works right now, but I'll be getting one shortly. And I will be able to reprint this guy with the power lines coming out of here. Um, and that's actually going to be, because the inverter is going to be uh, this side up, so this is going to be low. I said it'll be a little bit closer to the, the motor, so that's good. 
All right, awesome sauce. I'm excited. And this is going to be good for 400 volts. So we're gonna have 400 volts going to this thing. That means I'll be able to pull all the power out of that Fiat motor. Before I was getting top speed, like the, the max RPM due to voltage was like 30 something miles an hour. Max RPM with field weakening was like 50-ish miles an hour. And now I'll be able to go 60 plus miles an hour just on voltage and 100 plus miles an hour with field weakening. Not planning on going that fast, but if I wanted to, I could. And then I also added a couple other push buttons on the top. I got reverse for blue, red is reset, and um, yellow is main power, uh, I believe. I have to mark those. I forget exactly what I did for each one, but I'm pretty sure blue is reverse. I'll figure it out when we're running. Uh, but that actually makes it to where I can set up the Lebowski control a whole lot easier, run through the configurations by being able to reset it very quickly um, and whatever I need to do. And I did a push button reverse because I figured I'm not going to be in reverse that often. And when I'm in reverse, I want it to be relatively controlled. Uh, I don't want anybody to ever get in this thing and have it already set in reverse for whatever reason and it take off in reverse. I want it to be, you got to push that button to go in reverse. So that was the logic there. All right, I've been slacking on my updates. Apologize. But this is where we're at with the inverter. I've got the new cover plate made. Uh, that's ready to go. That's all done. It's all nice and fit. Um, there is the water port. And I've got a couple other ones right here. Right here. So because of the broken ones, I had to print new ones. Love 3D printing. I'm um, trying to think what else. Um, these are some of the shock mounts I got made at my buddy's shop. They got a CNC plasma, which is awesome. It's amazing. Um, and then I also have the wire harness done. So that is awesome. And the big, big news is I've got the shocks going. Not totally complete because I need this to be longer. I made that too short. I wasn't uh, screwed up in that. But I'm getting more of those made. Um, but yeah. Got the Fox shocks mounted. Just all tacked up. And you get it all finished, welded. But yeah, making progress. I'm going to have to put a limit strap from here down to there. I'm going to weld another tab onto there so that uh, I can limit the stroke because the shocks aren't designed to take full compression or full extension. Uh, I think you can, you can damage them that way. But yeah, that's where we're at.